Hey, students and friends of Innate Tuition, welcome back again. All right, we are into the series of what? Passing shirt looks easy. All right, another type of question. Can we just take a look at what is it? All right, something like this. Very familiar? In 2013, Changi Airport Terminal 1 T1 took 70 minutes, while T2 took 100 minutes to allow the same number of passengers to board the planes. The faster terminal allowed six more passengers to board the plane per minute than the slower terminal. All right. So first part of the question. The slower terminal completed boarding all the passengers at 1300, 1 p.m. At what time did the terminal start allowing the passengers to board? Quite simple. I think so. But you must first determine who is the faster terminal and who is the slower terminal. All right. All right. Let's look at question part B. Same part of question, let's take a look. What was the total number of passengers allowed to board the plane from the two terminals? All right. Hey, what kind of question is this? Uh? Actually, the clue is written up here already. All right. Two or more working together to finish a task. All right. And this type of question, maybe let me do this simple, simple example with you first. Have you seen this before? Yeah? All right. What do you have? Ali can paint a house in what? In 12 days. Sam can paint the same house in? Eight days. Okay, who is faster? Clever. Doesn't mean that the bigger number means what? Faster. Uh? No. Eight days campaign finish one house versus 12 days campaign finish the same house. So Sam is faster. Yes, Ali is the one that is slower. Can you see or not? Yeah? Excellent. So how many days will it take for both of them to combine strength to paint finish that one house? This is our question. Very familiar, right? Yeah. So in this case, what must you do? You must find in terms of one day first. All right. So Ali one day can paint how much of the house? Sam one day can paint how much of the house? Then in the same one day, how many parts of the house is painted? This type of question must be done this way. Shall we? All right. So down here, we have Ali. Okay, Ali. What do you have? He can paint one house in 12 days, right? So I write 12 days. And down here, remember, because this is a red question, bring in your arrow. Okay? And all this do spell out. 12 days, one house. Is that okay? That is for Ali. How about one day? In that one day, how many parts of the house is painted? All right? From 12, how do you get to one? You divide by yourself. 12 divided by 12, your house, one over 12 of the house is being Painted. Can you see that? Yeah? Alright. Versus what? Versus Sam. Okay. Sam takes what? Sam is the faster one. Huh? Sam takes 8 days to paint, finish that one house. The same one house. Is that true? Then in one day, what happened? In one day, Sam will take, yes, how many houses can be painted? Divide by 8 to get 1. 1 must also divide by 8. Alright? To get 1 8 of the house. Is this okay? Alright, so in one day, Ali can paint one twelfth of the house. In one day, Sam can paint one eighth of the house. Now they combine power. If they combine power in the same one day, what happened? Alright, in the same all right, one day, what happened? They can paint how much of the house? They can paint one over twelve of the house plus one of the eight of the house. Is that okay? That will be how much? So you press your calculator, one over twelve plus 1 over 8. Answer will give you 5 over 24. Alright, so 5 over 24 of the house is being painted. Alright, once again down here, alright, 1 over 12 plus 1 over 8 is equal to 5 over 24. This part is okay. Okay, so now they are looking for how many days it is necessary to paint finish the one house. Alright, I want this to be a one house. What do you do? Uh -huh. So actually, right, as I say down here, all right, from 12, how do you get to 1? You divide by itself. Trust me, just divide by itself, it will give you back a one whole one. So similarly down here, 5 over 24, I want to have one house, right? What do I do? Here, I want to have one house. What do you do? You divide by itself. Very good. You divide by 5 over 24. All right, 5 over 24 divided by 5 over 24 is a one whole. Because you divide by itself. Eh? What must you do down here? Down here is a one day, right? Yes. You must also take your one to divide by 
5024. Alright? That will give you the number of days. Can? So if you do that, you press your calculator. What is 1 divided by just now the answer? It's actually 24 over 5. Alright, so down here is actually equal to 24 over 5 is 4.8 days. So if they combine power, they will complete the house, painting of the house in 4.8 days. Can you see that? Yeah? So this one is something called two or more working together to complete a task. Something similar to this type of question. Alright, so remember the story, T1 and T2. Okay, so T1, right, this is summary, right? this is the story. I like to summarize my story uh, versus T2. So T1, right, it takes 70 minutes to clear maybe this group of people. How many? I don't know. T2, it takes 100 minutes to clear the same group of people. Tell me, who is the faster terminal? Yes, thank you. This is the faster terminal. Alright, this is the slower terminal. Is that true or not? Yeah? Because when you're talking about time, right, the shorter the time to clear the same amount of passengers versus a longer period of time to clear the same number of passengers. Who is the faster one? This one, right? The smaller number. Not every time the bigger number is the, the best. <laughs> Understand or not? Okay? So now here, part A, easy. The slower terminal, which is this one, terminal 2, all right, completed boarding all the passengers at 1 p.m. at 1300. So everybody go up the plane at 1 p.m. Uh, at what time did they start that? Uh? At what time did the terminal started allowing the passenger to board? At what time? So, oh, it takes 100 minutes to clear the passengers, is it? So, uh, after the clearing is at 1 o'clock already. So, what time did they start? Yes, you must minus away 100 minutes, right? So, how? So, usually for this type of question, right, we'll draw a what? We'll draw a, like a timeline like that. Okay. And down here, we have the what? At the end of the day, is 1300. That's 1 p.m. All right. For 100 minutes, 100 minutes is actually equal to 1 hour and 40 minutes. Is that okay? Alright, because 1 hour inside got what? 60 minutes, 60 plus 40 is 100 minutes. So, 1300, I purposely minus away 1 hour first. Alright, 1 hour here. So, you go back 1 hour. 1300, go back 1 hour is 12 o'clock. Is that okay? But is it enough? No, right. You have still have to go back another what? Another 40 minutes. So you have to go back another 40 minutes. Okay? So, what is the time? Yes, very good. You can see that it's 11, right? 11.20, right? 1120. And you lock in your answer as 1120 as a 24 hours clock setting. Can? Alright? Because 12 o'clock, right, is like 60 minutes. Alright? Every time at the hour down there is every time 60 minutes, right? So 60 minus 40 is a 20, right? So 11.20, you see, plus 40, correct, plus 1, correct again. So it means that you are on the right track. Your answer, they started at 11.20. After 100 minutes, 1 hour and 40 minutes, what happened? Yes, all the passenger clear in Terminal 2, which is the slower terminal. Clear? Okay, so now part B. Here, what was the total number of passengers allowed to board the planes from the two terminals combined together? Alright, uh, this type of question. Two or more working together to complete one task. Alright, something along that line. Okay? And down here, the important thing is what? There's an additional clue. What's the clue? The faster terminal allows six more passengers to board the plane per minute than the slower terminal. This one is the faster one, right? We concluded that. This is the slower one. So this one, every one minute, right? Six more can go up the plane. Every one minute, six more can go up the plane. Alright? So this is our question how? Uh, it's a little bit much more advanced than this kind of question, right? So what you do? Step by step. Don't panic. So once again, at this moment, right, we want to find what? 70 minutes, this amount of passenger bought the plane. Can? Can I go and find what is one minute first? Because the clue, right, here, the clue, say in that one minute down here, all right, the passenger, six more of them can board the plane compared to down there. All right? So let's go and find on a one minute basis first. So in terminal one, right, in T1, Alright, we have what? We have 70 minutes to what? This number of passenger. Alright, again, I draw arrow uh, because we are talking about rate. Rate we have to compare in terms of uh, using arrows. Units, then we use the equal sign, remember? Okay, so 70 minutes, right? This amount of passenger. So this amount of passenger, can we call it like P? Alright, we call it a P. Alright, it's like one entire group of them. 
can or can we call it like one P, one group of P? All right, so we can call it one. Huh? Remember just now the example, I call it like one house. All right, so it's like one group of passenger. All right, one uh, passenger, one P. So down here, 70 minutes is one P. Hey, hey, go and find the what? One minute first. So in one minute, what happened? Arrow, huh? 70, how to get to one? You divide by itself. Good. Down here, what must you do? You must also divide by itself. So it's down here, it's like one over 70. P will be what? Will board the plane in that one minute. All right. So one P represents the total number of passenger. In one minute, one out of 70 P of it can board the plane only. P means passengers. Can? So this is one minute basis. And down there, we also have to find a one minute basis. So terminal two, uh, what do you have? Terminal two, we have 100 minutes. This one P, one group of passenger, is the same number uh, of passenger for terminal one and terminal two. We have to compare things fairly. Uh. That's what the question say also. So terminal two, one group of passengers take 100 minutes to board the plane. In one minute, leh, same thing, uh, we're talking about rate here, so we use something called arrow. 100, how to get to 1? Divide by 100. So down here, you must take 1 over 100. P. Is that okay? So in one minute, 1 out of 100 of the passenger managed to clear the uh, custom and maybe board the plane already. Ah, so here comes the linkage. This is very important. They say what? The faster terminal, who is the faster one? Thank you. This one uh, allowed 6 more passenger to board the plane compared to the slower terminal. Can you see? So this one able to clear more passenger. All right? In the same one minute, this one is able to clear more passenger. This one in the same one minute is a bit slower. So it clear lesser passenger. So this one can clear more passenger minus the one that clear lesser passenger to give you the extra of six more passenger. Can you see now? Right? You're comparing on a one minute basis. So actually you can come up with this. You can say that one out of 70, this is from the faster terminal. Okay, minus away the slower terminal. Alright, so there's a difference? Yes. And what's the difference? The difference is six passenger. Results in the six passenger. Eh? You know this, this is a little bit like algebra. P and P is the same family, you can minus. Sure, go ahead. 1 over 70 minus away your 1 over 100. Equal to 3 over 700. So down here is like 3 over 700 P is equal to 6. Again, your objective is to find what? Is to find 1P, uh, alright? Is to find 1. It's like the 1 house, you must find 1, right? So down here, I want to find 1P. I don't care. What should I do? Alright? So down here, in order to get to 1, you must divide by itself. Very good. You remember. So 3 over 700, you must divide by itself, which is 3 over 700. Alright, 3 over 700 divided by 3 over 700 is a 1. Eh, hey, what must you do the other side? Same thing, you must take 6 to divide by your 3 over 700. Alright, whatever you do on one side, you must be doing it on the other side. Ah, can? Okay, so what do you have? So down here you have 6 divided by 3 over 700, and that will give you a 1,400. So the passenger, right, this one actually means 1,400 passenger. And that is in what? In one terminal. Eh? Question is asking about what? Uh, forgotten already. So we managed to find P. Yeah, P is the total number of passenger cleared by one terminal. 1,400. Is that okay? So what's next? Alright. The question, uh, remember the question? What was the total number of passenger allowed to board the planes from two terminals? So each terminal is 1,400. Two terminal? Very good. There is this additional step of what? 1,400 times 2. That will give you a 2,800 passengers. Alright, is that okay? And that's how you do it. Alright, this is our question. Yes, two or more working together to complete that one task. Okay? Yes, it's linked to that. So you must be able to see. Sometimes the question change a little bit. You must be able to adapt accordingly. So how? Always find one minute first or maybe find one day depending first. And from down there, you work it out. Whether are they working together or maybe uh, somebody got extra, all right? And how much extra is it? So you must take the what? You must take the more passengers minus the lesser passengers to give you the, the difference. All right? So these are the question. Must be able to adapt accordingly. All right, so once again, 
you know, all right? You know my email address. Very good. So if you have any weird question or something that you want to ask, all right, you can actually send it to me. And if a lot of students asking the same related kind of questions, I will come up with a video and put it into our series. What is this called? Passing sure looks easy series. All right, I will see you in the next question. That's it.